So for the next question, uh, soalan 2, question 2, we want to find the relationship between the x2 and input force of fs which is acting on mass 1, right? So we have uh, two mass, so we know straight away this is a 2 degree of freedom system. So first we what we need to do is we list out all the all the forces acting on the system assuming that movement to the right is positive right so for mass 1 we have a uh, friction at the top of the mass between this mass 1 and mass 1 surface and mass 2 surface upper surface and then we have another one friction force and then we have a force from the damping yeah, sorry from the spring and then we have a force from the damper so um, to simplify this I just put the value straight away so for the first one we have um, uh, oh sorry we have the value of uh, uh, friction coefficient of 1 so this will become 1 x uh, 1 dot minus x 2 dot right? because this is a contact surface between this surface and this surface lah, basically right so the next one also one value x dot one minus x dot two and then we have for the spring one as well x one minus x two and we have also for the damper one x dot one minus x dot two right and then uh, uh, we we produce the equation of motion equation of motion so we get the total force acting on the total force acting on the system equal to ma or uh, ft minus 2x 1 2 3 actually so 3 x dot 1 minus x dot Two minus one x one minus x two equal to m one x one double dot, and then Laplace right, taking Laplace, then we get f s minus uh, three x one s plus 3x2s minus x1 plus x2 equal to m1 is also 1 kg so 1 x s squared x1 okay so uh, bear in mind x1 and x2 are in term of s so you should put the bracket like fs lah okay so rearrange the equation we should get s squared move all in the left hand side to the right hand side so we get s squared plus 3s plus 1 x1 s okay minus um 3s plus 1 x2 s equal to fs okay so double check your equation of motion your, or your plus transform okay so we have mass s squared plus 3 damper or 3 uh, velocity and two of them is friction one of them is damper so 3s plus 1 spring Okay, minus but whatever we share with share with uh, uh, mass 2 or x2 which is uh, the the friction 1 2 the damper 3 3s plus 1 spring okay so we get the we should get the correct question equation lah. then we do the same analysis for mass number 2 okay so mass number two list all the forces acting on mass two. So we have uh, we have friction. Uh, 
and then we have a force from the damper and then we have force from the spring no external force one extra one extra friction force contact surface of the mass tool and the floor okay so we list out all the all the forces so we get one x2 dot minus x1 dot one times x2 minus x1 dot okay because the value of the damper is already sorry the value of friction coefficient is one lah okay so for the damper is also one x2 minus x1 dot and one spring x2 minus x1 okay so x2 x1 do not have dot lah okay. and then another damper one x2 dot this one do not have x1 component because friction is only between the mass to surface and mass uh, and the floor surface okay so we list all the we put everything in the equation of motion so we get a uh, total force which is we assume movement to the right is positive so we get total force of 1 2 uh, sorry yeah 1 2 3 4 damper uh, sorry for th we put three of them first three of them is because th this three share with x x1 so three x two minus x1 dot negative right because to the left so negative one x dot two and then we have a spring minus x2 x1 okay equal to m2 x2 double dot okay laplace plus the equation then we get negative uh, 3s x2 minus x1 s x2 minus x2 x1 equal to this is equal to 1 s squared x2 okay rearrange the equation rearrange the equation so we get move everything from the left hand side to the right hand side so we get s squared plus 3 sorry 4 this one so I, I, I forget one term so there should be another one over here which is uh, This one is for this term. This one term is minus s x2 minus x2 minus x1 equal to s squared x2. Sorry, yeah. Then we have uh, uh, s squared plus 4s minus sorry plus uh, 1 for x2 and then minus. 3s plus 1 for x1 equal to 0 ok so double check our answer we have mass s squared then we have 4 damper or 4 velocity in term of velocity for s and then 1 spring and then minus uh, for x2 and then minus whatever we have for we share with uh, x1 which is a 3 damper and once uh, one spring okay 3s plus 1 so we get two equation and solving these two equation by using Kramer's rule we should get the we should get the answer lah right so rearrange them in matrix form for the first equation we have s squared plus 3s plus 1 negative 3s plus 1 and then for the second Question: We have negative three s plus one s squared plus four s plus one times x one x two equal to f s three. 
zero. Okay. So using Kramer's rule, using Kramer's Kramer's rule, we want to find x two. We replace this term to this term. So x two we get a determinant of x squared plus three s plus one. F s negative three s plus one. This is negative. Eh? Zero determinant divided by the original determinant. Okay, so s two. 3s plus 1 s2 4s plus 1 and uh, sorry 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 let's put this on determinant form first to make uh, so do, so that you don't you you then get confused 3s plus 1 negative 3s plus 1 s square 4s plus 1 Okay, and we solve for this, so we get uh, this is zero minus this time this, so we get positive lah, become positive. So fs three s plus one divide by this. So this is can be this can be this can be factorized. So you get <laughs> try factorize first. You know, let's see if we can cancel out terms. Okay, so we get a uh, s plus one s plus two time s squared. This one cannot be factorized, right? So s one one three. Okay, so cannot plus four s plus one minus three s plus one squared okay so we cannot cancel out terms so we need to do some calculation on this lah. we need to do some calculation on this so you can you, you can do manually or if you have any software to do so like MATLAB so please you can use MATLAB lah. okay so when you simplify this you should get the you should get the final final answer So after using MATLAB, the answer is um, 3s plus 1, sorry, uh, when we simplify this, we get uh, x2 divided by fs equal to 3s plus 1 divided by uh, s4 plus 7s cubed plus 6s squared plus 5s plus 1 so if our calculation is correct this should be the transfer function for the for the given problem